Ah, it works. All right, I am here playing Doom. And this is about my fifth recording because every time I'd switch over to Camtasia on this level, it would the frame rate would drop to just about nothing. So it was unrecordable, unplayable. So the point of this video is a short little sequence in first person traps. And considering this is Doom, fast paced, switch guns, lots of power ups, just go, go, go. Very little uh, slow down and think, although the platformer uh, elements of this game are also excellent, which I have a very hard time finding in first person setups. Unless you go to something like Mirror's Edge, which is completely a platformer, 100%. But combining shooting, fast-paced gameplay with uh, platformer elements is rare. And these, this trap I'm about to show you is how you get the BFG, the infamous gun, gun from Doom. So I'm going to shoot up a few people here. And also how we unlock the door is a little bit, I wouldn't say unique, but it's fun. You have to... Uh, have the eye, they have an eye lock, basically you have to show your eyeball and they scan it. Of course it's not our, our eyeball we use, it's somebody else's. So I will shoot him up through this level, <clears throat> and when we get to the trap I will slow it down and talk more about the trap and how we get the BFG. Harder than I remember. I haven't played it in a little bit here. Let's go take out this big bad boy, will not You're not a big bad boy. Let's switch to the Gatling gun. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. That's not good. There we go. There we go. So another gameplay note to pay attention to here is the fact that these zombies are probably talking over me. Notice how the doors unlock now that I've cleared out the enemies. Classic uh, mission goals. Clear out enemies, go to next level. Alright, let's head into these rooms, clear them out, and go get the BFG. Doesn't look like the room, it's the next room. Let's head over there. We're going to find our key, the classic key. There he is. Bloody torso acquired with giant or bulging eye. More baddies to clear out here. Pick up. The exploration in Doom is actually really good as well. Which maybe I'll make another video of that. But now we are going to go open our door. So there's the BFG behind that all awesome door. And I love how you can see it on multiple sides. As we scroll around the room, a nice circular room with multiple ways to see it. We don't get lost. And it showcases it very well. Let's kill some more baddies. Less background noise. There you are. All right, no more background noise. Here we go, let's unlock our door. 
As we enter the room, we get a warning. Floor opens into an electric grid. Obviously, if I fall down there, I'm dead. I don't want to replay the whole sequence. I'll show you that. Green means good or safe. We go to the side platforms, which are very easily recognized. And oh, yes! The de descending laser grid. So the great part about this is obviously the first time I played it, I died. Uh, I didn't drop, did I drop out of the floor? I definitely dropped through the floor once, came in, did it again, and luckily jumped on these platforms really quick because I was like, why would there be giant green platforms on the side? But just look at this, this is all this is is a death plane coming down upon you, but visually it's awesome. Lasers basically trapping you on the top, and if you're in the middle, it'll slowly close in on you, which is also great. Because it just doesn't come down and we go, what the heck just happened? I'm dead? You don't look up and see this thing coming down and be totally baffling. So Doom is really good at presenting things much slower when it's needed. Uh, there's multiple traps like this that are very slow. You hear the audio and they give you a chance to figure it out if you die for the next time. So that's the big thing to take away from this is it's very simple design, but there's plenty of room to get on these safe platforms and plenty of room to recognize this threat as well as the fourth floor threat. And then as I sit here, it hasn't been done very much, but I think there was only one other time before this where I have to shoot out these red, what do we call these, red power, power cells or something of that sort. Only one other time we did it. So it's used a few times in the game. And if you had to do it a lot, I think it would become tiresome, but using it a few times is pretty cool. So I'm gonna blast these. I'm gonna wait till it goes back up again so we can see it fall. And the cool part is you don't have to blast all of them, which is kind of like a common sense element I like as well. You don't have to blast all of them and think like, why do I have to shoot all of them and move around the room? Kind of tedious. There we go. Crash through the floor. Now the floor stays with the pattern on. Now we go get the BFG. Use your skills to jump in the middle. Whoa, I almost went over it. That's another nice touch. <clears throat> that they collapse the floor and we don't have to jump out in case you accidentally die and have to replay the whole thing over again. That's kind of frustrating. So here comes another excellent point. I've referenced uh, Doom 3's first time you get the Gatling gun is one of the better uh, weapon, weapon what, intros? First time you get a weapon. Well this BFG is certainly fun. We're about to go in this room and use it. And watch what happens. Room full of zombies! Oh yeah! That just clarifies exactly what the BFG does. Super satisfying. Now taking over the Doom 3 Gatling gun intro. The BFG in Doom, which I guess this is Doom 4. They call it Doom, but it's really Doom. All personnel, please proceed to the Lazarus elevator. Do not break the level up. Alright. Oh, give a little uh, cutscene here. Ghost, phantom ghost, leaving the room. This is the way I should go. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alright, so that is it. Slow paced traps. Let the player recognize what's going on. Warn them with audio obvious what path they're supposed to take and if they die make sure they recognize why they died or how they died and don't let them 
die at the end as our floor collapsed and gave us safe passage out. And the best part, we got to use the BFG and watch an entire room of demonic zombies explode into blood. All right, that's our video for today. Bye-bye.